Well, this is the Boxing Review Show, episode 13. And yes. today we're in the very luxurious surroundings of Leafy Cheshire. We've gone very much upmarket, haven't we? We have. Yeah. You've changed. The person yeah. we've changed. Yep, yep. Well, we do I've have just a... kept it real as always. But we <laughs> yeah. We've got a very special guest today. We'll get to him in just a second, but just to explain where we are, we're in the Space Gym. Now, this is, this is home to a lot of celebs and, and A-listers and, and even Ronaldo, when he was at United, he trained here when he wasn't in Carrington. And yeah, very upmarket place in Great Some Warford, cell. which is kind of in between Mobley and Old Glee Edge, I think, is a, the best way to describe it. So people that know the, the Cheshire set will know all about it. Yeah, it's very so, much yeah. the Cheshire Housewives kind of country, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's You're a big fan of all I am, that. I am a big team, fan of Cheshire yeah. Housewives. <laughs> Yeah. Actually, uh, coached an ex Cheshire Housewife to, uh, to victory. Which was Leanne, Leanne Brown. Leanne Brown, West yeah. Brown's Do you know what? I genuinely, if I would have got here a few years earlier, I would have made her into a professional boxer. I mean that. No, well, talk to her. I mean it. She was good. Well, our special guest today is a fellow that you don't necessarily associate with Leafy Cheshire because he's uh, one of Berry's favourite sons, I think it's fair to say. In fact, yeah. Scott Quigg, former British and world champ. Who's more popular in Berry, you or the Nevilles? I'm going to say it myself. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say it myself. Because, um, I mean, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a spot enough town, isn't it? But you are very much, I mean, I've seen you in your very surroundings. You, you're, you're a bit of a star on those it's, streets. Berry's produced a few stars and what's the Get Made films? Oh, with Danny Boyle. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So, no, Berry produces, yeah. produces some, some, uh, talent. some talent. Yeah, well, we're going to get into your career and everything else and what you're up to now in a, in a, in a little while, but... You'll have to stay with us for the review because the boxing review show it does what it says on the tin hopefully anyway so we're going to look at the weekend's yeah. action and you were involved yep. you, you were in the corner mark keffern so we'll get to that fight in a bit but firstly uh and before we do this uh, anything exciting for you this weekend we'd like to this find out week, what you've been doing no after the mad weekend um <laughs> limited sleep prior to the weekend no prior to the weekend since we did the last part which was with Lyndon. No, it was just, we'll it was just i was at yeah we were, i was at the Wasserman show Friday night, yeah. then so I was working the the Saturday show at the arena, yeah. I was on Sky for that, and then, yeah, that's it, so now mm. we're in, back in the gym, kids go back to school, can't wait, do you know what, Who's, you know, I can never figure out those, those mad parents who were gutted about <laughs> sending their kids back to school, let me just tell you, tomorrow morning, I'm going to be first at that gate surpass my child over <laughs> to his teachers i've had enough of him and um yeah maybe it's just me but yeah there's far too many uh, parents they, we, listen to we're gonna back. do an episode i think a full episode on on debunking the nice guy crawler um, i think he's, he's doing bits and pieces here and there himself anyway but um, you see that there's there's the loving father bit yeah. that's gone yeah. Yeah. the mask is gone. slipping the mask, it's gone slipping. it's gone it's gone it's truly gone and each yeah. i'd say my little lads draw me to it right yeah. okay right so nothing too exciting then, but the weekend was what it was all about because yeah. Um, yeah, we'll get to the, the Saturday show. We were all there. We were all inside for that one. But in terms of Friday night in Bolton as well, we, last week, as I say, the guest was Lyndon Arthur. We were down at, um, at the Collyhurst of yeah. Austin ABC where our main guest here, Scott, spent many a year under the leadership of Brian Hughes, of course, and before moving to, moving to, to Joe, Joe Gallagher with yourself yeah. and everything else. But Friday night then, Lyndon in against Brian Suarez. This was yeah. one that should have been run back in March. Yeah. He failed a medical, there was some medical issue, got it back yeah. on again. I tell you what, we know how talented Lyndon is, but yeah. he pulled it out of the bag in the end, but it, he, what, what a life and death he had, really. Yeah, he did. And um, do you know one thing from it? And he, I'm not say he got out of jail, although he did in a way, no, he, but did, he, he did, he got out of jail, but he stuck with it, he stuck with it, and he showed yeah. character to get up, but... I said it time and time again, you know Lyndon, and it, Scott, Scott knows Lyndon better than me, you train alongside man. I know you said the same. I think he's so talented. I think his left hand's brilliant. He, you mm. know, the jab, where he pumps that jab out. But I just thought early on, it was like, I don't know, I don't know whether with Lyndon, sometimes I really think, does he do the weight right, does he not? But I think this time, I don't know if he brought someone on or not. Um, and I'm not, listen, he pulled through, he pulled through. And, but I just, Lyndon, it kills me because he's, he's talented, he's so talented. And mm. for me then, I want to look back at that, I think. One listen, the positive, Lyndon got away with it on Friday night when he was nowhere near his best. But he, he knows he has to be so much better. Like, look, you've got Boatsy and Aziz coming up. You've got um, mm. Boatsy and Aziz coming up. Lyndon wants to be right well, in that picture. If he wants and, to mix with them, yeah. he's, like I said, I, First gen, 
brand new. Yeah. So since them days, I've seen Lyndon from before he even started boxing, yeah. come into boxing, yeah. trained alongside him. He's got so much natural ability. talent and natural yeah, ability. Yeah. Oh. Yet you see, once he started winning and, and obviously got to titles, yeah. he wins everything on off his jab. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's the guy Team. fight proved. Yes, right. he didn't use yeah. the right hand. Well, well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. He's everything's his jab's unbelievable. Yeah, but you take that jab away, he's mm. not. Mm. I think he needs to be in a different environment. Yeah, but he, he did get dropped in the fourth. He came back. He stopped him in the tenth, and that he oh, is an, I, he's an IBO he's champion now. He, he looked heavy. Yeah. I was up close, lucky enough yeah. to literally be. Rowan, I could see, I could see you, you, Will, and James Moorcroft, you and your Will, wow. and you'd obviously Callum and Tapio with decent seats, for, um, hadn't you? No, it was good to us, Callum, yeah. yeah, front row on him. Yeah, but taking them two with me wasn't great, but other than that, <laughs> it was it was all right. But you no, know, like Scott said there, you, you just, what the frustrating thing is, you know there's so much more from him, than you know there's so much more from him, where but how many fights, that that backhand. How many fights, though, as, yeah, have I been saying it? Yeah, and, and can keep saying you've been it, saying it, no, yeah. And you just at the weekend, you got a, out of jail. Mm. Now you've had a warning though. Things need to change. Now it's up to him whether he makes them changes or not. Mm. If he doesn't, so what do you then, want to see? I mean, he's now got the IBO belt, but you know, domestically, it's a great bargaining tool. Well, like it's currency, isn't it? Great, but great bargaining tool. He's got a lot of domestic rivals there. I mean, very. Yeah. The, it's a really talented division, and you, you say changes. What do you want to see him do? Well, he's he needs to change. In, uh, me personally, and like I said, I know Pat for uh, Pat Barrett. Yeah, I know Pat. Yeah, I've been yeah. trained, trainer, Pat yeah. trained me yeah. when alongside Brian. Mm. Um, he need, I, I think he needs to. He needs to, he needs to change. His, the gym, his environment. He needs to take himself away wherever he was to go to America or to, I'd say, go abroad, mm. somewhere over in America or somewhere in Europe where these big fellas, do you know, the say say Germany or just to, just to get. You think he just needs to change? He the needs scene? to change. He needs to change his change the scene and the respect. He has respect for Pat one million percent, but he's not. He he needs to be in a different environment. If not. He's going to be in the same boat, mm. constantly. Right. Do you, what do you think he needs to do to do get? Do you know to what I think? I think? Him and Pat are so close, yeah, aren't yeah. they? I think you could see what it meant. Do you know, Pat, you don't actually see Pat show too much emotion. Do you? Mm. you could see what it meant to him, and I don't think. But with Scott, do you know what might? See what you think. And Scott knows a lot more than me about this. With Pat there, mm. or. If Pat sent him over to America for a month or something like that, do you know what I mean? Mm. And then they pick because I think they'll always they're almost like father son, aren't they? Hundred percent. He um, summer. Oh, listen, a bit of it, a bit of it. Let me say this. I know with Lyndon, it might be just, well. Lyndon's got to look at himself and think, right? Do you know what? I've got to take myself to this next level, even if it's not gym, but like whether it's stuff he's doing away from the boxing gym, like. Give myself those gears, give it where, you know, where I can have that swag yeah, about yeah. me. And he has got a plan of swag. No. <laughs> but that's where it's like, now I'm going to go, and then I can go again, and then I can go again. Do you know, like it's Lyndon there, he, I think Lyndon's happy, he's that chilled out. I think he, any more laid back, he'd fall over with yeah. me. But do you know, with him, like, let's, let's see that little bit of spite, and then you can, and then we'll see that spite again. Mm. You can't just pick your moments for 20 seconds in a round. And, and then, you know, Pat, you know, Pat and me, but we're, I can imagine it's Pat's fuming. No, well, and, and that's the thing. Whereas, like Pat, in, in, or it's not about leaving Pat. It's about taking his training camp away. Mm. You just going you just somewhere. think it's a comfort zone. He's, he's, yeah. he, he, he's comfort. He's he's around his mates. He's around the surroundings, and and that's what needs to he needs to get himself away from that. Did you did that massively? Well, we'll get into you a bit more anyway. Quickly on that, when you took yourself off to the wild card, I mean, it was a move that people would say, "Well, you were doing really well with Joe, and all right, you had the blip, the I think the Frampton fight, yeah. obviously." And, but then, would you look back now and say that that change of scene massively helped you? No, it, it, for me, it wasn't um, the the changes. Uh, I didn't need to change um, the scene. Mm. As such, it, like because I was so what I needed to do, I, I, I didn't socialise, didn't do anything. So I always put the work in that needed to be put in. Mm. 
why I changed is because of I had a conversation with Joe, mm. and he was the one that said to me, "I think you need a change. I think you should go to America." That was how the, he come to me and, and mm. said that. That's the reason why I went over there. Yeah. And, and yeah, it was a it re give me a bit of a uh, bit of another boost, you know, where I was enjoying the training again, and it was something totally different. So it wasn't necessarily that I needed to change my environment I just needed I needed a change because I'd been training that long mm -hmm. yeah. if he needs a change he need was it's like Linda's not listening no so right so that's just well it'd be interesting to see the next move anyway I mean do you, do you want to see him then with this belt now just get straight into domestic matters anyway I I think he's talented enough too to, ab yeah. to absolutely do what. Like I think it's just there's listen. Everyone, everyone can have off nights and stuff like that. Yeah. But I think what we're saying, and Scott's the same, is you know he's capable of so yeah, much yeah, more. Yeah. He's That's the first thing. Pat yeah. will know he's capable yeah. of so much more. The whole team around him will know he's giving so much more. Just let's just let's see it now. Oh, bless you. One of them where you, you can't we can't keep saying it, you know, for him. Do you know what I mean? So. But yeah, listen, he's picked up an IBO, yeah. an IBO yeah. belt. He's bringing something to the table now. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll see. Yeah, and yeah. what you've also got to just think, when there's not many fighters, that when it's, it's looking bleak, really, there's nothing happening, being able to pull it out of the bag with a shot. That he did. Like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a mean? fair play to him. Yeah, so. no, he did. He did. Yeah, so well done, there. Lyndon. And uh, yeah, it was, it was a tough night, but that's what he did. Yeah. He, he battled through it, didn't he? he which, did. which is a great sign. On the. Um, well, it was it was actually after the Linden fight, but the Sammy Antwi oh, Mason Cartwright fight. fight, which Did again you see was, it? was a, I didn't see it. I didn't oh, see that one. a brilliant fight. But then just to just to kind of hone in on the ending of it, because it looked like Mason looked like it was going the twelve rounds anyway. What? But then it's a British title fight; it matters the world to them. to Mason. But the, the knockout was, does that. The Lonsdale yeah. belt does that. I say it, I yeah. say that all the time. Like I love British title fights. You rarely see a bad one, right? But it was. I mean, he had amazing support in there, by the way, yeah. Mason Cartwright. But I said it. And tweeted it. I thought Owanta was brilliant. Samuel Owanta was brilliant. I thought he boxed yeah. so well, and I, I rate him highly. I've seen him before up close. But what it was, with Mason, honestly, it was a superhuman effort. It really was the shots he took, and mm. Owanta he gets some leverage behind his shots as well. He's a big puncher. Everyone who's around him, inspiring, will say the same. Long arms as well. Yeah. He's a nightmare. He's, um, he's like you know, for so many, he's, he's stylistic there. I know. Mason, big, strong, and the shots he took. But listen, he had Top success his own. I'm not saying, yeah. oh, he's in unbelievable mm. shape. And I spoke to his coach, Dan, just before he went, and listen, we've got it tough here, he said, but we're prepared. Mm. And you could see it ticked. And oh, I think it was like the last, it was last minute or so. No, it was, it was it? like 38 seconds or That's something. That's what I mean, yeah. inside the last minute. It was a brutal yeah. knockout. And it was, it was a brutal yeah. knockout to a brutal fight. And he deserved to see the final well, belt. Yeah. 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 Twelve. And listen, once he was winning in that, but... Uh, Mason, he had moments in, late on as well in the ninth and tenth. You just thought, right, he's going to see the end now, and he hit him, and I want it. He was out, sort of on his feet, yeah, and he got another two in. And Mark yeah. Lyson got in quicker because yeah. of the angle he was at, and then he yeah. went in just as the third one. He was end up at the sickening knockout, to be honest. Right, it was, it was, um, it was very reminiscent of David Price against Perekin. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Where he, he was out on his feet, yeah, yeah, and yeah. you're just thinking, no, yeah. don't, yeah. and yeah, 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 don't yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, it was a brutal one. And he managed to clip him a couple of times, but yeah, but Mark Lyson did did as quick. He was as you say, as he could, but he and he just couldn't, and he, just, yeah. he, he couldn't get round and then try to jump in. Yeah. No, it was, listen, fair play. Yeah, it's a heavy uh, one. Some and listen, fair play, Mason Carrot. It was, it was an unbelievable yeah. effort. Yeah, but it was a, yeah, it was a top night in Bolton and Carlos Sauerland, of course, involved in that and he was involved on Saturday night as well. So we'll get to that one because it was yeah. the, uh, <laughs> it was some event against, again at the arena, wasn't it? And you know yeah. what's good to see, and we see it a lot. Now, the crowd, you could describe as a bit lively on Saturday night, to say the least. There's a little bit of nonsense going on all around, and in the you know in the seats as well as in the concourses and everything else. There's a yep. bit of bit of a uh, bit of scrapping and whatever else, but it was it was a good crowd very early on. Again, I think we're that seeing was, that with these cards now. Nice, no, it started it? at six o'clock. It was. It finished very late, but I suppose really to to kind of defend boxer in that, it's very hard to pack all that in without yeah. starting at two in the afternoon. It is. Yep. And, uh, so it's going to be a late night, and it is. And by that point, there's a lot of people that have had far too much to drink and whatever yeah. else. 
and that's why you see a lot of nonsense. So, yeah. I mean, that's just one aspect. It's, it's not to dwell on the negative because it was a great yeah. card. It was, and that it that's why it was probably yeah. sold say, this yeah, early yeah. on because yeah. it was a really solid yeah. card. It was a really solid card, so people was in there nice and early. What, what do you do about the scheduling, though? Because everyone says they've got to be on earlier these fights. We've got to get younger. You've got to get it's kids hard, watching, it? and you've got to. It, it's really hard to schedule that, isn't it? I don't know what the answer is. I'm just saying it's, it's kind of. Because you can't compete time. with football either, can you? No. You can't start the. You can't start. The, I know they do it in the states and have done like starting at like silly o'clock in the afternoon, but it's not going to work over uh, here doing it's that. It's not, and I just think I don't think I don't know if there is a way around that. I'm going to say that's the, where, well, that would be the only way to. So that you can get, so you've got your main event at you half nine in an many, ideal world. Yeah, you know what I mean? You can't have that yeah. many title fights and yeah. quality fights on it. And, and not expect it to run a little bit late. Do you know what I mean? The only way to do that is to cut the bill a little bit, isn't it? Yeah. To take one or two yeah. fights and then it loses its quality. So I don't know. There is there's a way around that, and that's what's good. The comparison, like with the UFC, they have like they have a lot of 50-50 fights or six fights mm. from top to bottom. So yeah, everyone yeah. wants to be in. From well, the start. Just, well, that's yeah. what I was just about to say then. The the cards that they're putting on at the minute, normally, well, back when we was on, yeah. the, it's half empty until. You get yeah, into yeah. the but three, yeah. there, were, there were no knockovers on it. You know, there was. was. There was uh, oh, you could say that no. Lauren Price. I mean, you expected Lauren to win well. The French, no, was very she decent, was game as well. Frankie decent. Stringer. You know what I mean? Yeah, Again, yeah. very, very early on. But and then you've got you've well, Frankie got. Frankie was on at half four. I yeah. was there. He was on at half four. This one's saying it's so crazy. And then you know you've got the whole the whole card, the main card, and you're looking yeah, at it, and you think you run through the card, and it, it was great, wasn't it? You know yeah, what I mean? Do you know what else as well? Like, you could have arguments of who should have been where, like... Yeah, oh, of course, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's, yeah. it is, it's a hard one. It is. Well, let's start at the top. Okay. Right, because the, the main event, Liam Smith, Chris Eubank Jr., everyone had their say prior. We know what happened in January, and it was an absolute yeah. blowout from Liam Smith in terms of he just got rid of Eubank, four rounds, Eubank yeah. said he was going to get revenge, not a problem, he was cool and calm all week, went back to the same arena, same hostile crowd. Yeah. He went in there against the guy that had chinned him, knocked him out for the first time in his career, took it all on board and did exactly what he said he was going to do. And I know, yeah. I know you're very close, obviously, with, with Team Smith and everything else, but yeah. I th you spoke after the fight anyway, so you, yeah. you gave Eubank all the praise. Yeah. Liam looked absolutely spent. No, I didn't. <clears throat> it, 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 was, it was, I mean, an interesting one, obviously, given the way it panned out, so different to last time, but was it more a case, as you're concerned, Eubank, brilliant, Liam Smith, flat, where do you balance it? In January, in the January or maybe February, I seen Liam out in Dubai. Mm. And that was the biggest I've ever seen him. And I thought, oh. So after the last so after so the after, first so fight? So after the first yeah. fight, it, was, it might, might have been... It was. It might, might have been March. Or whenever I seen him in Dubai, and I thought, wow. Mm. And then he said he'd been. He said the rematch had been pushed back. Yeah, he's had the so back thought, issue. So, as yeah, well, so, so he yeah. had because we were talking about it, obviously mm. his back issue and that. Um, so the date had been pulled back. So I thought, oh, he's got into something. But I thought it was the biggest I've seen. Wow. That being said, so I thought he's going to have a. Mm. We still got a time though. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't realise the amount that he's gonna to have to take off. Yeah, so yeah. obviously he's gone in in so he's not giving himself the best start to no. a camp. That's that's what'll kill Liam, right? Now I think. That, I'm gonna say that's what'll Sorry, be eating him away because yeah. he'll know He's not giving himself the best chance, yeah. Whereas on the from the first fight, I thought the weight had a big impact of why you but why the fight ended the way it did mm. what i mean is you've had the back-to-back -back camp training for the yeah, ben fight and he cut all that way it was, yeah, it was because he weight. brought his weight all the way down yeah. and he didn't give his body the time to come back up recover back up here yeah he went straight on and then it, he yeah. went straight back into training mm. again you banks known for his how durable tough listen you get it with the right shot you're gonna go yeah. but yeah he you know He's known for his. Oh yeah, his durability. And also, it was a shock to everybody. Yeah. yeah. Was I also thought this time during the fight week he was in, he had that swag about him. He mm. was confident. Before the first one, I he, I didn't think he had the same. I thought he was more vocal. Yeah. Was this time? 
Mm. He said things, but he was just more like he, he's like he knew he was in a better place. Yeah. Um. And like I said, Liam just didn't give himself the. Yeah. He was fighting the uphill battle from the start of his camp. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you obviously, you were around him fight yeah. week. You were around. Yeah. Well, we were around both fighters for fight week, and and, and you know obviously Eubank did exactly what he said he was going yeah. to do. So he deserves a lot of praise no, and credit does. for that. In terms of Liam, um, again, you've heard what Scott said as well there, but yeah. you saw him after the fight as well. So yeah. I mean, you were was, you were you were in his room yeah. with him after and everything else. So give us a kind of insight to no, it, his immediate reaction uh, to he's, it. He's gutted. He's yeah. gutted, and I think. That's what I said then. Liam knows now he never should have blew up to the weight mm. that he did. And listen, being as a mate, being absolutely gutted. But Liam's the kind of character who'll take it on board. And it's like, yep. yeah, it's, but you can't use that as an excuse. Do you know what I mean? Because Liam allowed himself to go that heavy. Mm. And now, obviously, he looks back thinking, what was I doing? Do you know what yeah. I mean? And that that was the uphill battle. And then, listen, the, the back injury was genuinely, he yeah, had yeah. problems with it. And, you know, there were certain bits of training he couldn't do, which I think, listen, you've got to look at Beef's body in the first fight and then look at the second fight. And yeah. there was just, there was no, I remember speaking to Joe Mack, you know, after it, and there was, there was just no gaze and the sharpness wasn't there from the start. And I remember, you know, as a mate, yeah. I, um, for the for the first two rounds, and, and I actually, I actually thought Junior, I thought he looked a little bit anxious, but I thought, I said, the moment he takes a decent shot, yeah. and if it, that'll, that'll answer so many questions mm. where, Oh no, no, I'm all I'm right. right. I'm all right. I'm all right, and that's and that's exactly what happened. And then yeah. he grew into it because early on he was he was doing a lot of clinching, a lot of holding, jabbing, um, jab and jabbing, grab. clinching, yeah, jabbing, mm. grab. And I thought, but then, but I thought, do you know what I thought? Then for the first two rounds or so, Liam was making him work. He was constantly making him work, and I thought, oh, you know what, right, okay. But then, food he started for a bit more, and Liam just wasn't responding quick enough. There was it's no like, like he was in water. catch counting up. Yeah, he was. It was, and that's what. And then that which obviously tells you about someone who's yeah. struggled with the weight. But it's um, and then listen, the knockdown, which was a big knockdown, that also zapped him. And and it's like I think the last sort of hope for Liam, it was in the fifth. He was on the ropes. He was under a lot yeah, of pressure. Yeah, yeah. Not much was landing. Not much was landing. So I mean, a few had, but he was, he rolled this. He weathered the storm. Right, mm. turned him. Walked him back and I thought, right, now Liam can go. And he just... He, just he, he didn't have it to... Yeah, no, the time when Eubank yeah. was... the Because I was going to say, because he'd spent a bit of energy and he... Totally that. He just couldn't put... And then once, that was it, and then once Junior, I thought, I'm not getting punished here. I'm not, yeah, yeah. I'm not had it put back on there. He, he grew again. Mm. And, uh, but listen, you, you have got to give Junior credit then because... So it's, it's, you know, so I was saying about Liam, but... He did start to put the shots together yeah, yeah, yeah. and do you know what he'd yeah. done as well this fight and, and probably looking at Liam, he said something out of the way him and I thought, oh, oh. when uh, I think he said something, oh, wait, something like, wait, mm. can't hurt your kid. Yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know, like, <laughs> and yeah, he was right and, mm. but you know what he'd done, Junior this time, hit the body well, hit the body well and you got to give, yeah, you've got to give Junior credit. He did and, yeah. and do you know what else as well? You said um, a different Junior and I agree with Scott as in, do you know when he's done the ring walk? Watch the ring walk. Mm. And I think he gets on the ropes and I know he's the showman. So it goes like that. Go like yeah, that. Yeah. He, he's dead confident. He I was going to say, go confident. and watch the first one. Yeah. The, all the lead up to the first one and then watch lead up to yeah. this yeah. one. Yeah. You'll see. He was a lot more professional yeah, one yeah, here. Yeah. Mm. Just not coming yeah, out yeah, as much. Yeah, yeah, but then at the same time, I'll, with Liam, yeah, but he's one of them. No, he, he, people are going, oh, he's making excuses. But no, Liam straight away, I think it was the post fight yeah. presser that um, um, Ben Shalom was saying something and Liam yeah. went, stopped him and went no no listen yeah Liam won. knows that's, he's, there's he's no excuses for that's it that yeah. whatever and on the night he got beat off a yeah. better man yeah and uh, I think it's worth a nod to Kevin Parker the referee who it was a first yeah. big big event for him stepping into that kind of mega fight and uh, he called no, it thought, dead right because it, it, right. it, it was one of them like they said even on the top could have Liam gone on absolutely but mm. it was there wasn't the zipping him or yeah, anything I mean, like that to where you thought he's going to turn this yeah, around yeah. there now. He's yeah. going to turn this around. And there's no way Liam's quitting this. <laughs> no, he's <laughs> still be going now, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's, uh, yeah, it was you guys tonight. So what do we see now? Because clearly this talk do, do we see it again do we see the third one the decider or does mm. does you right now you can understand how his yeah. head will be thinking now Connor Benz immediately said yeah I'll do 160 yeah. I'm there blah 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 Eubank knows that's that's a fortune I'll, to be made yeah. I'll be shocked if we don't see obviously I saw Connor Benz mm. directly after it 
and that he was saying 160, yeah. not a problem. Yeah. He wasn't impressed at all with Junior, he was saying it's more down to Liam, even though we tipped Liam yeah, before yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Which, which a lot of us did. I'll be shocked if we don't see um, Junior and Connor then. And for, the, for all the rights and wrongs with that, with, with obviously Connor's situation still yeah. and everything else, that would do mega numbers. Massive. Oh, do massive. Yeah. Um, whether people think, oh, it shouldn't happen there because of the mm. situation with yeah. Ben and blah, blah, blah. That does massive business. Yeah, it does. Yeah. But also, you might mention Golovkin. Golovkin. I didn't yeah. know. If, I didn't know Golovkin was still. Yeah. Well, he's in his forties yeah. now, and, and everything else. And you know, you can see that it could still be a clever move in one way, but it's not. A, yeah. It's not a real thing now, is it? And I no, and I don't. It's I a good business know. move because yeah, I, cause, I, well, cause I think. I think Junior, junior now is more of our yeah, business. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. Not, I, I don't think. I think Junior has given up on. You know, getting that world title. But then, 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 yeah, then yeah, the money fight is Ben then, surely. Without a doubt. So and then, that's, why I think that's not it. about titles, is it? Listen, that's just about money. Still a big thing, but, but, but then, ben and nothing comes close to Ben and Eubank Jr. Ben Eubank, it does it then become who's the A side? Who's the, does yeah. that then? I th well, are I they going to split? I think the cards are in Eubank's court, really. Aren't no, they? no. Yeah, what, yeah, I, yeah. what I would say, yeah. my point I'm saying is, was the, yeah, was the egos. Yeah. Will that prevent but with everything sort of that's but happened? I, and I think that, that and I Connor's going to have to kind of. He's yeah, going yeah, yeah. to he's gonna have to give a bit of weight yeah. now. And he says 160 is not a problem. Well, that's what I mean. He's already given weight. He's already given weight now, hasn't he? He's already made concessions there. But it's, it's not. It, yeah. And, but no, it's, and, and I think, like, say, if you have an opinion, whether it should, whether it shouldn't, but mm. I'll be shocked if we don't see it next. I yep. just hope. So if it happens next, who wins? Oh. Mate, I said this, I sound a right fence shot. Yeah, I think you've got to make Junior a big favourite. Yeah. Because oh, I keep that. saying it, do you know, with Connor, like, Connor not yet, and everyone will say improvements, and, and there must be some truth in it because the people in the gym who oh, he's yeah, sparring, yeah, but yeah. he's not, I, would you say he's boxed that British title class yet? British title level? Because you can't see Chris Algier at that point in his career, or Van Eerden, Yeah. would have they be an Echo Wisserman mm. or some of the other top British well? I personally don't think they would have. No. I personally don't think they would have. And then, so with inactivity, because he says he'd go straight yeah. in with Eubank. Go, oh, yeah, he's, he's meant to go straight in. You've got to say, Eubank would but, be a massive favourite. But then, there again, like Connor said himself, Liam, Liam was poor Saturday night. That wasn't yeah. the Liam Smith, who we know how yeah. much it was down to mm. the Eubank performance. But when, somebody, but when somebody's poor, yeah. I thought Eubank looked, given past the yeah. first two rounds, going into the third, I thought he looked very. I, I thought he looked very good, even though it was yeah. basic. What he did, he was very yeah, disciplined. Yeah. It, 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 was, it, really it was. It was a good performance. It was. And he, we know how tough Liam is. And, yeah, and, yeah. And he took him apart. He did. Yeah. No, he did. He did. You know, and it was, so, that was a real that for, yeah. for June. That was probably more satisfying than catching it ending in yeah. the fourth because he was allowed to then sort of punish him Liam's toughness. And uh, him not being able to get shots off, but then, you, but now the question is, and everyone says how hard Connor's hitting. What happens if Connor lands? What yeah. happens if Connor lands early? Well, do you know what I mean? We'll, it's yeah. We'll, we'll probably find out. But on the on the undercard, we mentioned it was a strong card. There was uh, another good good run out for Adam Azim. Yeah, uh, you know, in with Fanyan, who was very tough. Yeah, very very tough. But Azim. It's been good, really, hasn't it? He's had two fights that test him a little bit where yeah, it was I all too easy for him. I thought he was very, yeah. very good matchmaking. Yeah. Very, very good matchmaking. I think he's, he's a super talent. I think, listen, mm. just, just slow it down a bit on like being in a rush to get in the yeah, world yeah. title because I think he's a brilliant talent. But mm. I'll be honest, I always say McGuigan, they guide the fighters very well. Yeah. They guide the fighters very well. And Fanyan was um, a very worthy opponent, asked him questions, and Azim still finished strong. He had him in trouble late on. I'm going to say. He carries yeah. his power. Yeah. yeah. And there was. Um, Plenty of others are going to get to a fight that you were involved in as sec before, well, just after your fight that um, you were in the corner with Fraser Clark and Dave Allen. Of course, we've had Dave Allen as a guest. Yeah. We spoke to Fraser in the week. He was part of the Maverick Stars initiative yeah. with Boxer in the build up. He's great in the community event, wasn't he? Big yeah, Fraser. Um, got the job done, Dave Allen. And again, we didn't, because yeah. he'd been out for so long, he'd had a good training camp. Yeah. He was in a really good place mentally going into it. What did you make of it, the way it panned out? Obviously, in the end, it was a perforated eardrum and, yeah. and he, he was retired in at, the end. But at one point, I thought Dave was going to get yeah. the win with the low blows. Yeah. And, uh, bit, a bit like of a hot which, topic as well. Yeah, hot topic. Just low a bit. Blows, was it low? Yeah. Was it not? Borderline, blah, blah. But Frazier, listen, Frazier was frustrated after it. He was a little bit after it. 
And Dave, he's always cute defensively, but mm. I think the time at the ring probably so he just couldn't get his shots off, couldn't, yeah. he couldn't get his shots off. And um, like you say, I think he just couldn't put his foot down when he had to put Frazier under pressure. And, and mm. I think the inactivity shown, I know he got the thing, but I think the inactivity shown yeah. uh, for Dave with Frazier on Saturday night. But like you say, Frazier, he, um, I should say he hit the body well. <laughs> but again, controversial, but no, a few of them definitely strayed yeah. low. But I think Frazier now, he needs that test. He needs that test where he's he's he's, he's very fearful of who he's yeah. in with to bring the yeah. best out of him. How old is Fraser? He's only thirty-three. Thirty-three. Yeah, he's, he's stayed amateur. Yeah, it's yeah. a long, so long time. So he needs, yeah, I'm not still in every week, but yeah. still, yeah. I think. Yeah. Dave, Dave Allen's a couple of years younger. Yeah. He's just thirty-one, but what, they've yeah. had different paths. I'm going to say he's yeah. had a lot of hard fights, yeah. Dave. Yeah. And after that, what do you th what, what would you want to see, Dave? Do you want to see him carry on? It's it's hard because he's it's hard so because when he's himself. got the love of the crowd yeah, still, yeah, yeah. which we oh, saw. Do you know what I mean? He's, he, he, they love him. They yeah, love him. Yeah. What is it? Um, he comes out. Fields of goals. Fields of goals. Yeah, Eva Cassidy singing. Yeah, yeah. But it's, 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 he, he loved the when, reward, didn't he? Me though, personally. When because listen, when you're retired, yeah, you've forgotten about it. Yeah, we're a long you know, time retired. As Joe always used when to say, so yeah. He's if you, if you, if you're not. Looking at be, being able to progress and mm. get back into title mix, and is there any? You know, me personally, I'd like to see him retire. Right. Yeah. But but then again, when you retire, yeah. But and you yeah. you lost me about yeah. boxing. He might have yeah. the thing. He's, 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 he's got his fighters that he trains. He's got so he's, still he's got that. He still, still manages. He manages Stevie Lee. Yeah, he's training Joe Hayden and others and yeah, stuff. And sure. He's settled family wise. He's, he's no, he's you know, in a good place. He's, like yeah. that. And I think so, Dave's very honest with himself. Yeah. So he yeah, might yeah. think, you know what? It's, it's just if Dave wants to come back at a lower level. Yeah. Yeah. Or do you know what I mean? He wants those big arena nights. Yeah. 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 Well, we'll see what happens with that. Yeah. But of course, the fact you're in the corner with Mark Heffron, yep. another British title fight that, again, it was dramatic, in against yep. Jack Cullen, two yep. lads that know each other so well. They've been stable mates, they've say. sparred hundreds of rounds. <laughs> it was great that because there was never any nonsense in the build up, it was just two lads just, having a real go for it. Yep. And it was Jack's night. So, from your point of view, being in the corner with Mark, I mean, what happened? What went wrong? Through, through, the, train, through the training camp, mm. everything was spot on. You know, the, Everything that Joe had come up with, the, all the tactics. I'm just going to explain there, just because I've not set that scene perfectly well, because obviously we're going to get into you a bit more in a minute after the break. But you are training at Joe's as well. You know, you do yeah. plenty of other things, but you train with Joe still, yeah. and you helped obviously Mark prepare for this. You were in yeah. the corner with Joe Gallagher yeah, yeah. as well. So that's so sorry, but yeah. just carry on for anyone um, that didn't know that. Well, no, everything that was working on with Mark, and it was nailed it down to a T. Yeah, and. Before he went out in the change rooms, the last bit of warm up that you do going through, and Matt was getting everything, everything was coming natural, everything was so I didn't locked on. And then, when obviously fight starts, Cullen come out doing exactly what we thought we were going to be yeah, doing, yeah. and just Mike just did just. Just wasn't there. Mm. You make it. No, I. Um, so I was speaking, Scott, and um, spoke to Joe. I think the day before the fight, and he said what? And, and I'll be honest. Thirty seconds a minute in a fight. This isn't what Joe told me he was planning on doing yesterday. He was. He was over committing. He was too stiff, yeah. too tense. And I think you know what? I think he might. I think he struggles with nerves pretty bad. If he yeah. struggles with nerves, terrible. And then another round into in the second round, he got a sort of half clip with a shot, but. I thought, mate, you're showing your frustration far yeah. too early here, and he's, he's loading up, and, and I could see him here thinking, Jennings Connor are going to be loving this. Yeah. Because cause Jack, like you say, Jack done what they expected to do, but, and it was like Mark, he'd been told all this, and then I don't want to say it was by surprise, but Mark, I think Mark is very much a confidence fighter, yep. and he's just got to have that thing in him where, because he's so talented, he's got to tell you, I've, mm. I've seen Mark get off, Dr. Yep. Southboy can box up close, can box that distance. Mm. And I still don't believe anyone's nearly seen how good Mark Efron could be. And I'll, I knew how confident the Jennings was before because they'd gone off sparring or whatever. And I just I just believe in Mark there. It just, whether it, he let the occasion get to him, I don't know. But listen, I'm, I'm doing a bit of injustice there to Jack Gunn because the Jennings corner was super confident and 
Jack done what he had to do, and yeah. it was a great left up, wasn't it? Yeah, with um, Mike, obviously, with them knowing Mike as well, because Mike's trained. Mm. Really, every time Cullen touched Mike, whether it was yeah. Mike blocked it, Cut. they was go, they was making a loud noise, and, and he was right because straight Mike had, away, yeah. Mike. Um, Mark bites it and right more. Yeah, so then yeah. he's lunging from too far right? he weren't taking his feet in the, in the, he, he fighted too two tens remote, yeah, two, two, tens. Ten, two remote yeah. like yeah. two penal trying to load up yeah. and he, he, he just won his night and the fair play yeah. to obviously Jack Cullen yeah, yeah, he, he meant the world to him yeah, as well and well, you some could see fair that, play yeah. to Dave and Mike, Jen, Mike and Dave Jennings as well because they were super confident. The old camp was super confident of it mm. happening, and he went out there and he done exactly yeah, yeah. what they said he did. I was speaking to Joe Gallagher before, uh, and he, he did touch upon the fact that you know, Jenny's having a, a good time with the gym. The, really? the amateurs yeah. are flying. Yeah. Mark Jeff has had a fantastic win yeah, against Jack, Zach, Zach Charlie. Yeah, exactly. So they were on a bit of a high anyway, yeah. and they, the, it's momentum, isn't it? Winning breeds winning, and all the rest of it. Yeah. And so they were super confident. And Jack, I don't think anything bothers Jack in, in, no. in a million years. Uh, his mentality yeah. is great. Well, he just gets in, back, just gets in, gets in as a fight not bothered and it was yeah it was his night but you know mark put out a nice message and congratulating he did, he jack did, he, and he took the defeat he can, yeah, yeah. He, he's just got to rebuild a bit hasn't yeah, it? that's yeah. it we can come I, back we were there i remember speaking to dave jennings outside and in the way in the had to have mark sort of like, like the friendly that yeah. way and then um, jack was probably <laughs> the wrong person to do it because like dave jennings said <laughs> jack reacted when he got off the stage he jumped when he got off the stage <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, listen, you know, fair play Jack Cullen, it's a um, dream come true for him holding that British title. Yeah, he never disappointed, as you say, but there's a bit of drama and a bit of his title fight. He's always little in a good fight as well. Oh, yes, Zach, yeah, Jack, 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 little Leavers, yeah. good cleaver. He, he's been beat a couple of times, hasn't he? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So it shows, it can be done, come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. just keep going. Michaela Mayer went, went points. Yeah, uh, obviously I've seen, seen a lot, I've yeah. seen a lot that week. Oh yes, yeah. after that, she's sparring your girl, what's your real Dixon, yeah. A few rounds. But yeah, yeah do you know what she has? She's got a fantastic engine yeah. on her, Michaela Mayer. She hits the body well. It's looking better um, up the it. Yeah, she looks, yeah. I've seen her, I had no idea how she, how she yeah, ever made tall, 130 she? pounds. Yeah. yeah, no idea. And obviously, she's talking about yeah. Tash, Tash talking about her. Uh, that's yeah. a real fascinating fight if it happens. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll see. But yeah, another yeah. Uh, win for Michaela Mayer. And uh, Florian Marku, Dylan Moore, and I mean, the, the build up to that one lasted longer than the fight. Okay, in terms did, of, you know, yeah. there was more, you know, they were at each other at the, yep. the, the press conference, the way in, the whole thing. But I don't, did Dylan just get it wrong? Did he, what yeah, he happened? Got he, got caught, 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 yeah. he got caught cold, and that just, was that's it. And, and, and well, uh, Florian, he, when he gets you, he yeah, just jumps on him. Swan, just swans yeah. you. Because there's no doubt about it, Dylan Moran was confident, wasn't oh, he? He, he fancied the job. It just was one of those, so, as you say, gear get caught, caught, it happens again. Caught, caught. It was a great shot. Yeah. Uh, it was a I wanted to start it all off, but he did. He jumped on him and he never recovered, Dylan Moran. Yeah. But a great weekend of action. And uh, yeah, so there's the review bit done. But next, we're going to get into the man that is Scott Quigg. So that's the review bit done for now. So it's straight into the man himself, Scott Quigg. Now, the last time you boxed was just as the pandemic was kicking in. It, I think you were the last, last show. March, the last show. show. I was the last big March 2020. Yeah. March the 7th, 2020. John O'Carroll, you left that ring that night with a defeat yep. to deal with, but you pretty quickly said, that's me. Yeah. In fact, immediately, didn't yeah. you? Pretty much immediately. That, you knew it wasn't there. You gave it a go, you come back and gave it a go, and that was that. So, has anything changed to make you think that you jumped too soon or you're very happily retired? No, I mean, well, at the time, to be honest with you, like when. So, after the fire officer, I thought that's it, because I knew. Me personally, two years before, I would have had no problem with it. And I just thought, it's not there. You know, obviously, I've been. The two injuries, being out. All 2019, mm. having the injuries, and I just thought, yeah, I've had enough now. No. Yeah. Um, but then when, so that's when obviously lockdown happened, then yeah. the COVID yeah. Yeah. So I was still kept training, and I actually started to feel better. I thought, oh, I might actually have another one, mm. but because obviously lockdown, the the the, the thing had yeah. gone on yeah. for so long, I just thought. Um, 
I thought, yeah, that's it now. And then I ended up journeying to Dubai. So, yeah, we'll get to that bit in a minute because I know you've got an interesting kind of lifestyle at the minute and still very much fully involved with boxing. But in terms of you look back on your career, uh, and again, it was a, you had an interesting start to your career anyway. You know, you, yeah. you, you asked to get expelled from school when you were 15 so you could just become a boxer, uh, which worked a treat, in fairness. So your parents were vindicated in backing that decision yeah. because you went on to have the career you did. Uh, a couple of other things you're famous for, not just being Barry's fav favourite famous sporting son, but, you know, ring walking from, from your house to the arena in Barry, the leisure yeah. centre. No one's done that before. I don't think anyone will ever do it again. I <laughs> loved it. it. I loved it. it. <laughs> that one. At the time... Anyone who hasn't seen it, by the way, can find that on YouTube. Listen. Scott Quigg walking from his home to the leisure centre to fight. That was his ring walk. Yeah, but at the time, that was... Everyone thought, oh, they thought it was mint. Yeah. They thought it was the best thing. I did as so well. I've got, I, 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 I love my hands I've up. Got I'm got jealous. It. I still think it is. I've got to give credit to Mr Speak because it was his, it was his idea. Was it was a belter. Let me tell you. That's Paul Speak that's yeah. obviously yeah. Got, did a bit of help he, with you throughout your career. That ring walk has not aged well. <laughs> because the amount of stick I still get is every, every now and then so, social media pop up bam look at this so and so it's just not at the time listen at the time it was yeah but it's just not aged well and it continues <laughs> to get worse <laughs> Well, you went yeah. from there anyway. You managed to. You, you've done that, and you, you, your career just went. It just soared. Everything, everything was great. I think some of the fights that people remember you by, you know, Kiko Martinez was a yeah. big, big night for you, wasn't it? And, you know, it was a thriving stable. You were, you were obviously you've been at Collyhurst to Moston. You're yeah. talking about Pat Barrett yeah. and Lyndon and all the Brian Hughes. Yeah. You come that way through. I always remember you, you, you were coming through the same time as Reese Roberts, who yeah, you know, it, it was so a real like, talent yeah. as well, wasn't it? But it, I think injury wasn't it that injury and injury. His career. Yeah. Um, then obviously you moved to Joe, that's where you team up with Anthony, the rest of the yeah. stable, the Smiths and Macklin and blah, 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 yeah. and, you know, Murray's yeah. and everything else. It was a, a real, was a really peak time, wasn't it? Incredible time, really. So you were just one of many winners in that gym. Yeah, yeah. Well, well that's the thing. When, when, when I thought I, I need a change, that was obviously when Brian News had retired and I had a fight with Pat. And after I, I had one fight with Pat and I thought, I need a change, I need, mm. because I was the... It's what it's, when I mentioned um, Lyndon and Zelfa before, they're at the top, and they're in the top yeah. of the gym. So, yeah. and when I was back at Collier's at that time, I was I was the main one in the gym. I had nothing, nobody because obviously Michael Jennings, yeah, Gomez, Mario, Gomez, Robin, Gomez, Reed, Robin, Robin Reed, Reed, they'd all job yeah. packed it in. So I had nobody to. Yeah, yeah. So I, it was actually Matthew Wall, who said. Cause I used to pick him up and yeah. come yeah. take him to the gym. Some light middleweight one who's a oh, yeah. talent. Mate, yeah. He's, Again, whose career was affected through yeah. things outside the ring. But. And it was him who said you should go to right. you should be, you should yeah. go to Gallagher's. Mm. And it literally on the way to the gym, I dropped him off at the gym. I didn't go in, yeah. and then I made the phone call to Joe. Right. And, right. I, and that was yeah. Again, going into that environment were like. There's already champions in the crawler, um, the Smiths. Being around that, yeah, it's that's the that extra, that, that yeah. was, that's what made me. That's what took me to that, you know, the next level. Yeah, yeah. and it, it's, the in-house competition was something special, wasn't it? Was you know, brilliant. Joe's always been a big, big believer in that, the team yeah. ethic and all the rest of it. But yeah, I know you did a lot of training with this fella here. Yeah. And, and again, you know, after each session, I'd be in there sometimes watching, you know, if he did 20 chin-ups, you had to do 13, oh, you know what I mean? If you had, because the little games that you play, but I suppose that's all part of breeding the success. I was going to say, because you, you're pushing each other, yeah. you know, and, um, but I remember, I do remember one thing, before the Jamie Arthur fight, yeah. this fella did me rib. Oh, really? You probably don't even I, remember. I, didn't, I can't really? remember that one. No, I can't. Yeah. I genuinely can't remember. Yeah, did my rib. Now you're saying it. Now no, that you did my rib. That sounds familiar, yeah. It yeah, all sounds familiar. Yeah. Weight bully. Weight bully. But I'm going to say it. also took some second prizes. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but no, it was. But do you know what it was, mad Scott, at that time? Was like, I was, when I always think of Scott, I'm not as busy as here. He knows it anyway. I've been lucky enough to work alongside some of the most talented fighters Britain's had in whatever the last 10 years. and some of the most successful ones. But the hardest working one, he knows it anyway, is Scott Quigg, without a shadow mm. of a doubt. And even like, like Scott, 
unbelievable runner. And even like swimming, swimming yeah, wasn't yeah, a yeah. strong thing, but it would be the effort he'd put in mm. still. And I think it's got what Miami's saying. His technique was even worse than mine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it wouldn't stop him trying, do you know what I mean? But like these, what time do you used to do that? I seem to be it was about five o'clock, that pool. Those so we, we, we'd get there for, they, I guess they'd open up. They used uh, to let from, in. Scott right. had a pool in Berry, like he had that kind of pool right, where yeah. they used to let us in before the public. Right, so so we get there for five. We'd be in the pool by quarter Gary past Neville five. Gary Neville can't get in there at five, can he? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But we was in the pool at quarter past five. Yeah. And swimming, I always say swimming was the yeah. hardest thing. Oh. We, 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 at one point, obviously, exactly. you're building the, the, the face listen, oh. Trust me, you're building up the rounds each week. And the, the last week, you're doing 10, three minute rounds of swimming. Yeah, yeah with a minute. No, it's not. It was, and and bear in mind, that was like, you were getting in the. It was purely like quarter past five in the morning. You, you're still wiping the sleep out. Like mentally, yeah. it was just tough and yeah, tense, yeah. but brilliant as well. Yeah, but you, you were famed for that, for being quite intense about your training. You just said it before as well, that you didn't have a social life. You I didn't do I, anything. I had... You just trained. You just trained. Did you train too hard? No. I, to be honest, I probably would have overtrained if I didn't sleep as much. I used to sleep three, lot, three hours yeah, during yeah. the day. But you know, people need a release, don't they? You didn't have a release. Oh, well, that... that, that I'd sleep, as soon as I wake up, I'd train, then yeah. I'd eat, then I'd sleep. That literally was... But you, could, you yeah. did that for years and years and years without any yeah, kind I mean, of a don't break. Point, but... It weren't enjoyable. Yeah. Like, but... I, 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 I didn't dislike it and it weren't enjoyable. I was actually numb to it. I was emotionless. Yeah. Yeah. I just knew what I wanted to achieve, what I did, and that's what I did. And don't get yeah. wrong, like, I always speak honest about this, like, People thought I was an asshole. There were close people around me, mm. like because I just get up, do what I needed to do. Yeah. And, I, and then, well, you know, an athlete has to be selfish, as the old boxing, as the, yeah. the saying goes. You've got to be selfish. selfish you? You're yeah. not going to get anywhere. Hundred percent. And, yeah. and I have no, I have no regrets with how anything's panned out. You know, mm. regarding things that are brought down, whether it was relationship, whether it was your know, friends, or whether it, you know, because I did what I did. To achieve yeah. what I achieved, yeah. and don't worry, I still lost three fights. Mm. But when I look in the mirror, I have no regrets because I was as good as I could have ever been. Those, those three fights, best. because again, you, you're a world champion, so it's not going to, no intention of focusing on negativity here, but yeah. the last fight you can forget really because you were kind of gone with injuries yeah, and everything yeah, yeah. else and inactivity in the John O'Carroll fight. But the Valdez fight was, was a brutal competitive yeah. fight. The cards wouldn't suggest. It was close, but it was. Yes. And I, again, I'll never Broken forget. I'll never forget that one yeah. because yeah. I was I was in Carson, Ooh. California for that one. You yeah. go to California, Bounce right? Star. Right. You go yeah. to California from Manchester, yeah. and you think, here we go, yeah, magic. Yeah, yeah. So I'm watching Scott against yeah. Valdez, yeah. and again, it was a crazy trip. Anyway, and I'd like your experience of this because no, no. I only spoke to you after I only spoke to you inside after the fight, but. And I asked, oh, no, that's not true. I saw you at the weigh-in, and Scott Quigg not making weight was yeah, yeah, mental. Yeah. No one could, it's like, how's that happened? Yeah. Of all the people, that is the last fight you'd ever believe to not make weight, but you couldn't make weight, so you couldn't win the title. Then you get in, and we're in an open air venue in California. Carson, you know, the, yeah, the, what the what is stub, it? The, the stubble, yeah, yeah. I've never seen rain like that. And it, it's crazy. I know it's raining over there at the minute, isn't it? Well, they've had lots of showers yeah, in Nevada yeah. and stuff, but it was non stop crazy. And we were under yeah, a tarpaulin yeah, sheet yeah. ringside because we were commentating. Yeah, yeah. And, and just crazy. How we all survived and didn't get electrocuted I don't know the thing is though but, that, that so four weeks before mm. I fractured my foot mm. so that hampered the training in a way I obviously yeah. did I couldn't move on my feet I couldn't run yeah um, so that hampered me um, the training so on what I could do because for a week I didn't train yeah yeah um, so then obviously trying to shift the weight so I was only Literally before the so the start of the week, mm. so I dropped the weight that quick, like because I thought, well, I can't do the normal intensity of the training, so I need to adapt my food. I need to do this, yeah. and and I weren't really as educated as I am now on that. So I got my weight down. So at the start of the week on the Monday, I was only three pound over. Mm. Like you know, after training, I was three pound over. Yeah, so yeah. I thought, but I've never been it. like yeah, I've yeah. never been. This is yeah. this going to be easy. Yeah. But I brought my weight down too quick. So then when I was trying to shift, uh, you know, trying to shift the last bit mm. of weight, just wouldn't move. Mm. Yeah. And so then what I, so the night before the weight, so I go in the 
the night before, do a sweater session. Couldn't, that's all I was doing, these pedaling the bike to save the foot. Just wouldn't. Yeah. Mm. And then, so that night I went back home, to back to the apartment. I went to bed for three hours, yeah. Then went to, ran the, so ran the bath, so I think I'm in, I'm in the bath about two o'clock in the morning, trying to, no, it's not, not good yeah. any of this, is it? Right. Yeah. I'm in the bath for about 45 minutes. I didn't lose I nothing. Yeah. Mm. And I literally, I remember, I was, I was over there with my mum. I just said, I sat this. That's it, I'm not trying anymore. Mm. Um, and obviously, they think I took the make a bit because obviously, I had a coffee and a drink in the morning and I ended up coming in three pound over. And, and at that point, they were saying, Right, there's no fight. Mm. But I was doing an interview with, can't think, um, I think it might have been like Christina. Do you know yeah, yeah, Punchy, yeah. 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 And I, top and, line. yeah, and he was doing an interview with somebody else. So he was asking, so I wasn't even listening to what I'm, I'm listening, yeah. I'm listening to Val, what he's saying, and the fellow who he was talking to said, so is there going to be no fight? Yeah. He went, no, there's still going to be a fight. I'm not bothered. Yeah, yeah. Don't. Yeah. There's definitely going to be a fight. So I thought, okay, no worries. Yeah. I'm not one. Yeah. So when everyone, so I do a few more interviews and we go back to the um, hotel room. So there's me, my mum, Adam, my lawyer, Eddie, and my conditioning coach. And we're all in the hotel room and Eddie's going bananas. Oh, they're, they're going to say, yeah. okay, you've just, you just can't weigh more than this in the morning. I went, no. <laughs> so I, I, I'm being a, an ass at this point. I went, no. Sound front. He said, no, look, look, listen, you just can't be more than £10 over than what you are now. I went, yeah. no. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he's going, oh, listen, there's not going to be a fight. I said, well, there's no fight then. So, I so on, I honestly, he's, honestly, he's flapping through. I said, no. So anyway, he's going back and forth. I said, listen, and he said, listen, just weighing in the morning, they will come to you with the scales. I went, no. <laughs> so, cut a long story short, I left Adam and Eddie to sort that. Yeah. But I knew there was going to be a fight. Yeah. Because I'd heard him. I mean, I had to pay uh, 20,000 to the commission and then mm. give him 10,000. So I thought, okay, no problem. Yeah. But there was no way because I thought the last thing I, for the last four weeks of that camp, I trained on the stress yeah, and yeah, I just yeah, thought, yeah. I've had enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I thought, I can't be bothered eating and, and, and watching, jumping yeah, on the yeah, to yeah. make sure I don't go too yeah, far yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, mm. I'm in a situation where it's, it's, it's all going wrong, I'm just thinking, you know what? <laughs> let's, let's try yeah, and yeah, You know, you was like a bit where you'd have, I don't mean bro, but you'd have, you, in your head you was thinking, there's no fight, there's no fight. And you, you yeah. probably come like they was, I remember Eddie saying so, he's with you. But you know, when you think, now oh, this guy's not asked. This guy's yeah, just really yeah. not my yeah. he's not gonna and they must have picked up on that was thinking, What? So who's risk it, willing to risk it? Oh, and he's just like, Yeah. <laughs> and so that was it. But it's a good you know, it's a, it it was a so good fun. fight and the, you broke his jaw broke early it. on. And I think yeah. you said at the time afterwards that, that was the worst thing that could That's have happened because he changed everything. Tactics, and he, yeah. he yeah, so you couldn't then trade with him, you couldn't I, do anything. I bet I'd done close to two hundred maybe 150 to 200 rounds with him aspiring yeah. the year before and you know and over in the past and i knew if the fight stood in the middle yeah then that's you that yeah. that's the fight i want yeah. especially when i my foot i, I yeah. mm. fractured my foot so i thought well i'm still going to be able to do it mm. which is going to be it's going to be like in a phone box and when i broke his jaw he then started to feet. use his feet and box and, and every credit to him because yeah. I know what it's like to carry on with a broken jaw and it's not that it's painful or anything like that. it's just the mental battle you yeah. knowing that your jaw's broke and and keeping you cool under that, in that situation mm. he did that and you, were, you had a smashed up nose as well didn't you? Oh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's yeah. still smashed up now, <laughs> isn't it? but you, you were quite at peace with that straight after the fight remember you were quite all right, is what it is. You know, it's kind of... And it, it's not... Listen, I still to the time, no, it's not okay to lose. 
Yeah, but, no, no, well, I still have that. But, but put it this way, you had a different attitude to the Frampton. No, no, what like, means, I, the, the, well, <coughs> because I couldn't have done any more. Yeah, yeah, and I with everything that had gone on and all the rest of yeah, it. Yeah, I couldn't yeah. have done any more, yeah. and, you know, and that was, I just thought, like, mm. because it was a hell of a fight. Yeah, yeah, thought. it was, it was. And the Frampton one, again, not focusing on yeah. losses, it's no. just that that was an incredible event. And the fight, the fight... I don't know how you'd sum up the fight from your point of view now, but the build-up was brilliant. It didn't, I'm going to say, because the build-up was so... Because uh, yeah. it had been building for years. Yeah. And the fight didn't live up to... Mm. Uh, and, and that's not because of me or just because of him. He, 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 yeah. The time, we for the first half of the fight, we nullified each other. Yeah. And then as soon as I thought, right, well, it was... I think it was after round... Six. Six. And yeah, when six, I come back six, to the car, Joe went, fight. Sky, have your 5 1 down? And yeah. I went, You what? Like, because yeah. I won't get, I actually, if you look at the punch that I actually landed more shots than him. Mm. But don't get me wrong, when I went back and I, and I watched it by, I give it in by two rounds. Right. Do you yeah. know, I'm not, uh, and, and every credit to him, what he went on to, to go and well. do as well. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah every yeah. credit yeah. to him. But, um, <laughs> the, the build-up though I mean it, it turned into Barry versus Joe didn't it it was Barry oh, McGuigan oh. and Joe Galli and it, and and it was so well entertaining Eddie, and Eddie was well. getting it from Frampton wasn't he yeah. Brilliant. and then Joe and Barry were just back and forth <laughs> and, but Eddie yeah Eddie was getting loads of stick off Frampton I remember and again a lot of the time you were sat there smiling yeah. so it was, it was just because it. It, because as well Joe's Joe as well he's not he's not stupid and you know you like sometimes Joe says something because it and then he gets to focus on him, and he yeah. takes all the yeah, pressure. Yeah. Well, John, so when people sometimes think, "Oh, look, Joe making it all yeah. about him," it was no, he was happy to play villain in that one, wasn't he's, he? Playing villain, yeah. He's, he's, yeah. Do you know what I loved about that? He, and, he, and he meant it. I know he meant it. And I know he's lovely mum. Ah, oh, Ben McGuigan growing up in our house. I don't know if he said it in the press or not. No, he did. He did. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, he said this. Yeah. It was like it was. The, there's George Best. There's the Pope. And there's Barry McGuigan. Yeah. Like, he's that, he's that big. And I know he might have thrown Alex Higgins in there Alex as well at some right. point. And, yeah. Then, yeah. and then it was, but. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> oh, he's brilliant. Yeah, I'm sure JFK got a mention at some point. Yeah, it was great though, anyway. But, but anyway, that, that was a fantastic event. The yeah. arena was bouncing that night. Again, you had your fans, as well. Yeah. Carl's fans had come over, and it was just brilliant. But, but I mean, your highlights. I mean, I suppose that event was a highlight for you, regardless yeah, yeah. of what happened. But what were the highlights then when you look back now? Was it Martinez? What was it? Well, uh, the, 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 fr well. the yeah. three, obviously, the first fight at Bury. Yeah. Joe, obviously, because that. Because yeah. the council w weren't allowing boxing at that time. No. You turned that around, didn't you? You so, got professional boxing back in Bury. Yeah, so so that obviously was one. Yeah. Jason Booth. Yeah. British Challenge. The yeah. Mendel Monroe, yeah. second fight. Yeah. Um, they, they, they were things that stick out, and obviously the, the Martinez fight, but mm. and then obviously the Frampton Valdez. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, big, big nice. Even though, uh, but then you've also, like I said, when I knock Monya out, mm. yeah. Jamal, yeah. like, so I've yeah. had, yeah. you know, some, I'm happy with what I've done in the, the, the career I've had. Yeah, that, that second Monroe fight, the second one, undercard, Ricky Hatton against... Yeah. Senchenko, his final fight after he came back, obviously. But just uh, did you see the documentary? Oh, you were at the premiere. Oh, I was obviously. at the premiere. Yeah, it was. Uh, you forgot you were at the premiere when I asked you at the top. Yeah, yeah. So you were at the, the red carpet. Busy man, busy man. So was, uh, you know what? Was there's bits of raw, raw yeah, as anything. Yeah. I, I obviously, I knew you were in the same. It's got like any young lad from around here, or around any you, young. You both were part of the Hatton stage. Yeah, 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 it was. Well, was, was you idolised Ricky, and I just thought, oh, I know everything about him, but this I'd never, I wouldn't expect it. It's well worth a watch. Yeah, yeah. But before you go, Scott. We've got to put you on the spot a little bit because you know we like to find out a little bit more away from boxing from people and what your specialist subject might be and, and you're not you're not bothered you said to me but just anything I mean, I've got lots of specialist yeah. subjects basically but uh, so we had a, had a little think and I think it's got to be the chippy not a the problem. famous chippy because the the, the, the famous chippies in the Quig family the Brandel's own chippy yeah. in Berry very well known it wins all sorts of awards doesn't it well, yeah, I've always wanted to right now. I'm still fighting to get it changed the name changed to Champs Chips Champs Chips yeah. right. Well, so you've grown up in and around the chippy all your life now I know that you went I think you told me once that 
there's a special treat you had six chips like one spoon of peas yeah and a tiny bit of gravy and that was about it so, so that, that was me little treats that because uh, yeah. i was that thing that's me little treats so you've not gone to town in the chip you still haven't clearly so uh but it, it does fine fare very popular and, uh, yeah it was a cracking menu there but just want to ask you a couple of questions what's your chippy tea of choice then now if you were let go mad so some wild before i stopped eating yeah. meat I used to always have rag pudding, yep. chips, peas, and gravy. Right, rag pudding, there we right. go. Rag pudding, there, there's some one it. for the southerners. Right. Rag pudding, yeah. <laughs> Me and Scott have been blessed, lucky enough to have it. If yeah. you've never had a rag pudding, or yeah. never heard of a rag pudding, yeah. like this man, <laughs> different different parts of Manchester and different parts think we've got greater Manchester. Well, yeah, rag, you have to try a rag pudding. A rag pudding, it's originated in your hometown actually, of Oldham. That's from where Manchester, it originated from. <laughs> and it's also, under the Oldham yeah, it's, but okay. it's, it's only so it only does any business in Oldham, Bury and Rochdale, really. Yeah. I think that's that's pretty yeah, much the you truth. Check it does good right? business. I don't know what you're missing. Hey? He does business. No, does no, but listen, business. but a rag pudding, for, for those that don't know, it's, it's if a If I went suet, around this gym now, thing, is it? <laughs> I don't think no, many no, people no, would have no. had a rag pudding. No, but in fairness, <laughs> if you went three miles out of Oldham, Rochdale or Bury, you'd probably yeah. struggle. That's unbelievable. It's an um it should be. So it's it's a suet pastry and it's a meat and onion filling. So it's like yeah. uh, it's like a pudding, isn't it? Like, yeah, so yeah, it's, no, a, pod, it's like, like a pudding. Yeah, pudding. But it's but it's rag. Why is it called a rag pudding, Scott? Here's your I mean, question. Why is it called rag pudding? Because I'm guessing he's <laughs> can rag it about. It's got to be something like with the pudding. It's, 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 no, it, it, because it's, the, it's the cooked pain. in a rag. Oh, oh. yeah. Oh, the, the mill workers. Do you know now? Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no. Cotton rags yeah. or uh, yeah. muslin kind of cotton. It's the the pie. It's put in a yeah. in cotton, wrapped in cotton, and then yeah. boiled. Yeah, basically. So yeah. that is your rag pudding. Yeah. So that's why it's called that. But yeah, it's not something that um, they'll be eating on the chippy door in Essex for any no, time. Yeah. Soon, yeah. They're lost. But, so there you go. So. I've already given it away. It actually originates in Oldham, but obviously it's trans it translates to the northern mill towns of Greater Manchester. So anyway, there you go. Right. So the chippy tea, you've, that, it's a rag pudding. Rag, well, I, it used to be rag pudding, chips, peas and gravy. Right. What would that cost in the Brundle's own chippy? Let's see now. A rag pudding. What do you think it is? A rag pudding, that's... A, a, a rag pudding on its own yeah. is... I think it's one. <laughs> oh no, two. I don't know. Nah. One, one eighty. See, you just don't buy them enough. Two pounds sixty inflation and all that. It's gone up a bit. It's okay. Two pounds sixty. When to to get your chips, would you go small or regular? Yeah, uh, border regular into like so in between. Something, right. Well, you'd have to get your regular and maybe not eat them all. Yeah, That's regular. two pounds twenty. So okay. you're on to you're on to four pound. <laughs> £4.80. And what was it? Gravy, did you say? Or yeah. Gravy, yeah. Mm. <laughs> That's a, an extra £1.50. So it's a decent tea for, what's that, £5.20, isn't it? Like, so, £4.80, £5.30. It's a mass then, but... But you're getting good, the is thing is, though, you're getting, you're getting good portions. No, you, no, the regular chips will be insane, yeah, really. I don't yeah, think you need yeah, regular yeah. chips. It's small chips, so you can knock a quid off that. Yeah. So, yeah, that's a good tea for a five, under a fiver. Yeah, there you go. And that's top value at the Brandles and Chippy. And yeah, this menu's killing yeah, me. You know. Oh, the menu's unbelievable. Real. By the way, the breakfast yeah. menu there these days as well. So it's, it's, oh, it's quite fancy now as well. Done it in the chippy, shop, right, right, you can get, obviously, because it's a very chippy, you can get black pudding. Yep. Famous of course thing, you can. Very famous black pudding. Berry, and I think, as far as the UK is concerned, anyway, black pudding is very much a berry thing. Yep. I think in Yorkshire they claim something, but whatever. Yeah. It's from Berra. Give us a couple of key Berra. ingredients of a black pudding. I mean, you put me on the spot. It's yeah. pig's blood, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, that's the key one, really. So that's, yeah. that's the one, yeah. Pig's and then what else is in there? Um, I, you've lost it. I, I actually couldn't tell you. Mm -hmm. um, it's wheat and barley wheat. and other stuff. Oatmeal. So, yeah, pig blood's the one, isn't it? Pig no, blood's the, the one, pig's, yeah. Yeah. That's what makes it kind of... But the yeah. thing is, Berry claims the black pudding. Black pudding, even though as black pudding in the UK yeah. and, and Ireland is very popular in different form in Ireland yeah. obviously but in white pudding white pudding, white pudding and Ireland, black pudding yeah. in Ireland. but it's different to a berry black pudding yeah. it's got the the beef kind of wrapping if you like that you can eat as right, well okay, yeah. um, but blood sausage is the same thing the world yeah. over so it's kind of in Spain all across Europe all around the world they do a blood sausage which is basically black pudding but black pudding is berries there you go that's nearly as famous as Scott Quigg in berries black pudding almost <laughs> yeah right where do the World Black Pudding Throwing Championships take place? 
I mean, is it, I'm being educated here. I haven't got a clue. You know what? I, this is obviously, I don't know the answer. I think it's not it really might be a chocolate. Well, it's not Ramsbottom, is it? Ramsbottom. Knew it. Okay. Ramsbottom. Knew that. Yeah. Final one. This is one minute. This is how clueless I am. I'm thinking, what part of the world would it be in? Yeah. Well, and I'm think? thinking, yeah. no, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah. Ramsbottom is kind of, it's just on the edge yeah, of the Yeah, it's very, very, very nice in the very market. Very nice in the hills, isn't it, Ramsbottom? Yeah, it's yeah. just it's nice. part of Berry, isn't it? Part of the count, part of the borough of Berry. Uh, right. Is, you know, if you're having a chip butty, yeah. what are you having it in? A balm. Balm. Right, well, that's what I was going to say when you said chip butter. Are you, you, are you going to say chip butter, chip mm -hmm. balm? It's totally no, see, wrong when I say it. Also so chip some people say chip muffin. Chip muffin there we yeah. go. That's what it's I on, say. On but your I know menu as a muffin. Yeah, but okay. I say not chip a balm, muffin. But I would have said balm. Chip balm and think, yeah, no, I would have said chip muffin, even though I know chip muffin is just, that's like a chocolate chip cake, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, so it's definitely gravy for you as well. Yeah. You ever go well, curry or, or, or the English curry. English curry is English curry. Isn't it? Yeah, you yeah, get yeah. them in southern chippers. English curry is a bit more fruity. Southern chippers are rubbish, yeah. A bit more bit fruity and all that business. Yeah. Yeah, all right, but it's, uh, it's, it's gravy. I'll never understand people that have a problem with gravy and chips. I don't get oh, that. Again, I feel sorry for the southern doesn't, chippers. It doesn't make any sense. They'll put gravy all over the roast potatoes, but chips, they're horrified by it. How does that make any sense? Yeah. Anyway, enough of that. Finally then, Scott, because um, we've had enough of your time, I think. What are we doing here in Leafy Cheshire when you're Berry's favourite son? I'd just like to wonder out every now so and then. So this is a gym you do some training yeah, yeah, in? Yeah, So you're not here for no reason? No, no, no. Right. Uh, I come over here and... Um, yeah. Use the gym facilities is second to none, mm. um, and it's good being in the environment around there is good environment to be in. Yeah, yeah, and you're still doing the training obviously with Joe Gallagher. Yeah. You've been over in Dubai, which you touched upon very early on. Yeah, uh, and you were you were there for a good stint. So what's that all about? Yeah, I was over there. This year, I've been over there just under seven months. Do you know, in total, I come back mm. for a bit of, uh, for I think six weeks, and then went back out for just over three months. Um, I was out at the beginning of the year training um, a lad from who's, who lives out there. Um, he wants to wants to box, mm. so I went out there trained him. I first of all I was only going out there for five weeks. Yeah. Just said see how just to see mm. how good he could be. Um, I was happy with his progress, so I stayed on for just over two months. Just another two months. Come back, went back out again, and now um, I'm bringing him here. Uh, he, got, he arrives here 10th of September. Right. Uh, yeah. So he'll be coming over here because I needed him in more of a boxing environment. Mm. You know, real boxing. Yeah. Um, you know, you still have Dubai. The facilities are yeah. second to none. But you, the, em more, the environment, yeah, you, yeah, you need, um, yeah. Uh, needed that. His work ethic is... Uh, couldn't be any happier with his work ethic and mm. like I said I, I said that to him spoke to his uh, parents and he jumped at the chance mm. to come over here and you know yeah yeah so, so training is the career then is that gonna is that the way it's yeah. gonna be you're gonna go it looks forward. like it yeah and yeah. like I say I'm fortunate to more competition still you don't I mean, compete with him training now rather than no. you know the training in I'll, the gym I'll such. just be ringing up for advice off him to be honest with you who could do more chin ups oh, now chin ups now. He's, oh. he's carrying a bit that's that's a challenge. You know? I can't yeah, be myself it, beating Scott much, but chin ups. I reckon I can. You know? no, he's carrying, have a chin up. Yeah. Right, so what's the strong run? What's the one? Running, running was good. Right, okay. The odd time, up, the odd once or twice up those times when Scott was starting camps, but any time, right. Scott, was, you know, he don't need to burst my lungs at the start, and I couldn't. What had happened? We get to the yeah. end, he won't get further away from there, but he's just a bit faster than me. So he'd, yeah, he'd do, he'd do me. Because you was the because when I first come to Jaws, you was the. I was the. You yeah. were the king of dove stones, weren't you? I was. <laughs> and yeah. you took the title. Took the title off. Oh. Oh. Yeah. My only tactic is that. set off like an idiot. Yeah. I love because if, if they don't if they don't come with me, I'm building enough yeah. bigger lead, and then I'll be out of sight. So they'll just think. But most of the time, nine times that they try and keep with me. Yeah. And I know I can keep this pace up. And that's right. So <laughs> once, and then he'll tell you the best trick I I talk to him. So 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 then the the longer the delay was yeah. before he re replied, yeah. I thought right, yeah, just taking three or four seconds so now. No right. time just to go. I've Horrible done my work. Horrible person. Yeah. Horrible person. You see that well. well I, I'm not even well. And I thought you were just go. talking, asking about me at home life, being <laughs> yeah. a nice guy. Yeah, no, it's just to, yeah. to try and kill you. Well, there yeah. you go. Right. Yeah. So no plans to go out to Dubai. You're going to stick around um, here for a bit then. I might. That's it. 
go back Same, above for a couple yeah. of weeks. Um, but no, he's, like I say, going to be best over in there for the next yeah. 12 months. Yeah, right. Who's the hero of the week, finally? Hero of the week? Oh, wow. Most hero, hero of the week? week. It's, 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 it's Ant's hero, it could be anything. Oh, my hero I mean, of the week. He has a hero of the week. The, okay. Oh, wow. Listen, I think it's... It's got to be... Um, it's Lewis Capaldi, one, one of the, so he's, he's, he's got <laughs> a little bit off piece. <laughs> hero of the week. <laughs> um, I reckon I've got to be up there for having about five hours sleep all week and then covering two shows, but I don't want to make it about me. So. Right, okay. <laughs> Listen, you know what? You've got to... You've either got to make it... Um, and both of them probably hurts me a bit saying it. It's out with Junior and Jack Cullen, isn't it? Yeah. Junior mm-hmm. and Jack Cullen, massive wins for them both. You've got to be honest. And I see, you probably got to say Junior, ain't it? The way he turned it round, the performance. Yeah. And yeah, you probably have to go Chris Ewan Junior. He's uh, kept his career alive. So there you go. It's Junior's day. Um, what do you got to do to follow this? Um, you you like to tell everyone. You've got to leave comments Click, and, and link, do that. Subscribe, leave comments. Across all uh, platforms, audio, YouTube, yeah, to the podcast, Spotify, of, yeah. everywhere. Share, so everywhere. care, and yeah, tell um, all your friends about yeah. it. If you ever stuck in traffic, there's a lot of traffic now, the kids going back to school. Yeah. <laughs> Stick this on, stop fall go. asleep. Yeah, this is the Boxer Review Show with Boxing Social.